Hello fellow hardware enthusiasts and water cooling enthusiasts. Today I'm gonna go over the uh, two separate fans I've bought. I initially bought the Vardar 140mm fan and then I was seduced by the uh, Corsair ML140 Pro. Inside there's a fan which I have mounted for sound testing and there is just on the Vardar four screws which are not black, that's a shame. Yep. And on the ML, there's again the fan, of course, inside. And then inside here, the box is a little more, more elaborate. You have some Velcro straps and some black screws this time, which I think is nice. Price is quite similar, it depends on the region, but price is not the issue here. Seeing the performance and the acoustics of the fan is the main purpose of the video. So, how are we gonna test them? I have mounted them both this way, so when I run them, I eliminate the rattling you could have by, while having them on the surface. Initially, I tested, I tested just on the box and there was some rattling and some di difference between where the fans were positioned. So, I'm gonna take measurements with the decibel meter on my phone from where it pulls air and where it blows air. So, let's start. First up, I'm gonna start with the Corsair ML fan. So this is where it blows air. Okay. So as you can see, the first measurement is between 47 and 51 degree decibels. The fan here is running at full throttle. I don't have a PWM uh, way to test that without being in the case. Uh, so it's quite noisy but it won't run. So this, both of these two fans can run between 400 RPM and 2000 RPM. So let's go make the same test now, the Vardar fan. So as you can see, the measurements are pretty similar. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna twist them the other way around. 
I'm gonna test what is the kind of nose when they pull air. It would be a little bit slower in the uh, slower in decibel. But both fans, as you can see, are pretty much similar in noise at those speeds. So here you see it's around 5 decibels lower. Or not, it's pretty much the same. Slightly lower. Now let's test again the Vardar fan. So I think it's a slightly lower again, so both fans have almost identical results, maybe my phone is not sensible enough to pick up the difference, I tried to make the most, the best experiment possible while eliminating any rattling, so both of two, this, those two fans are going to go in this 750D case, initially uh, the, ca the case came with uh, those Corsair uh, fans, uh, those are 1100 FPM fans, they are a bit slower, uh, at maximum of course, but this fan is 3 pin, whereas those two fans are 4 pin PWM control. So yeah, uh, cheap Corsair, even though the case was quite pricey, but then again, that wasn't my con much of my concern, I wanted the most practical case for my water cooling build. Uh, I'm gonna make you see the for a reference how uh, this one compares. I'm gonna just hold it in my hand. So I don't know if the camera can pick up the sound, but this is quite silent and from the other way around Okay, so yeah, that's 1100. When those other two pairs of fans are going to operate, they're going to operate at uh, much uh, lower RPM where they're idle. 
and maybe if the temps get quite high they're gonna scale up another difference to bear in mind is that the uh, amperage on those fans so this fan the default fan from uh, which came from Corsair is a uh, 0.30 amperes right so quite power taxing now if you go and check out the Vardar fans the Vardar fan is a bit similar it's 0 0.35 amperes but again this is 1100 this is 2000 rpm so slightly higher amperage but much higher uh, rotation speed so needless to say that those fans are for 3 pin and too high amperage for what they deliver now the core serve one is a slightly lower amperage is the lowest amperage of, of them all it's 0 0.202 amperes so they both give it pretty much the same performance acoustic wise at max speeds but the Corsair fan seems to be a more efficient for doing the same kind of work with a slightly lower power uh, maybe the acoustics will be more pronounced when you run them at lower RPMs where more the motor sound will, be, will come into play uh, also bear in mind this cannot be easily verified down the road after a lot of hours, months, years of operation the Vardar fan might become louder because there are uh, dual bearing fans I think inside whereas the magnetic levitation one might not be uh, gonna subject to the same, same issue again this is very hard to verify it's gonna be down the road I'm gonna find out so yeah, this is gonna go as a pull, this is gonna as a push on my 280 radiator from EK. Thanks for watching, keep posted for further videos. Bye!